What do I like about this nuke? First of all, it's all made with stock 1x8 um, lumber without having to rip it down into the dimensions you would normally need to rip it down for a standard um, Langstroth hive. Um, it holds four medium-sized frames nicely. Each um, one by eight makes one nuke with very little um, uh, waste. So you buy one one by eight and some cleats for the um, for carrying the nuke, for helping to finish off the top, and for putting some some cleats on the bottom to raise it up off the ground. Um, sorry, some of our friends are here. Um, and uh, you get a, an inexpensive nuke that can that that can be built with a, a a power saw or a hand saw and a drill, and that's about it. Uh, the other thing you should notice is I've got I've got a ventilated bottom board. Um, I know that cut looks rough, but you'll never see it um, with some screen over it. So that allows us to close off the front if we ever have to with something solid. Um, and still allow the bees ventilation and then we can carry this nuke around anywhere uh, for an installation of bees. I'm going to show you how to make this nuke um, with the measurements and hopefully you can make one yourself and hopefully you like the design. It only costs how much? Um, I bought all the lumber for about 10 bucks or less than 10 bucks. So yeah, pretty good. Okay, for this, this nuke goes together with only butt joints and one by eight stock lo stock lumber. So our bottom board is made of uh, stock uh, one by eight, and the dimensions are uh, 23 and three quarters long. And you'll see I've attached some cleats on the bottom. The sides will go on again with butt joints, but I'll show you how I do this. The rear is just based on another piece of one, one by eight that I've cut in a square. Um, so that's how the sides and the rear go together, and I'll show you the front. So quickly, I pre drilled holes. Uh, I'm going to put the rear on first. And I've added a cleat here uh, ahead of time, um, but that's not necessary. You can do that afterwards. Just a prep, prep, my preference. Okay. The sides are 19 and 1 8 inches long. Luckily, he pre drilled these. Indeed. So, went past the workbench. Now, this is going to look rather rough at the end, but if you were to use a table saw versus a handsaw, which is what I use. The only tool I used for this was a handsaw and a um, a rotary a rotary tool, like a Dremel rotor tool, to cut a little hole out. Oh, note by the way, on the bottom board, I just done a ragged cut of the bottom out and put a screen on it to ventilate it. But you could do a very nice job of finish carpentry with this. It's not really worth it. Uh, well, one of the things I like about this design is you can use it just as a as a box to help strengthen a small colony. Um, you can use it to transport a colony um, if you're selling it or if you're moving Moving its location, for instance, if we were to go into Rhode Island and we wanted to move a colony, we could do so. Are we going to be selling colonies? 
um, if we get to that level of sophistication, uh, I'd love to try to sell colonies. How much would we sell for? Um, well, nucs usually go, or nukes, a nucleus of bees on the, uh, when you see them priced on the internet are somewhere between 120 and 150. That's with a breeding queen and five frames of brew. These would, or five frames. These would have, this is a four frame nuke. But I think that, um, um, if we were to, s if we were to start selling beehives, um, if I were able to get better tools. Maybe you should turn the basement into a workspace. Oh no! Turn the, um, what's it called, room? Okay, so this is the front. Again, we're just going to use butt joints here. Wait. Notice, I've cut, yeah, a no I've cut a little notch out. I did it with a Dremel power tool, but you could do it with a chisel, you could do it with a saw. That's just about an inch. Is that the thing you burned yourself on? Yeah. Uh -huh. That's about an inch wide by about three-eighths of an inch high. Morning. The thing that Daddy used, he like the he burned himself. So just be careful. I'm trying to do this quickly, so um, you may not. It may not look as pretty as yours. But you can also paint this, and this could be a nice garden hive. Um, what I've also done and, and, and have built. This holds four frames. If you, it, rather than use only one by eights, and by the way, these one by eights were real cheap. I got it. I got the one a, a one by eight by eight feet long at Home Depot for six dollars and thirty-two cents. It was basically only the top, bottom, sides with that one by eight. And then I bought some furring strips for the cleats for a cup, a, an eighth long furring strip for uh, two bucks. Okay, so that's the basic box right there. Um, the other part I like about this design is there's no rabbits to uh, cut in the um, uh, in the one buys uh, because what you use are these inserts of three eighths inch plywood that I've cut down to size. Um, let's see, do I know the size of this? Tell you what, I will find that out and put it on the video. I'm um, sorry, this is tighter than I'd expected here. Let's wow. try this one. Fit. Oops, if I could put it backwards. going to use one screw to secure these. These are just there just to rest the um, to rest the frames on so they don't need to be structural. I notice I am using screws. All of these are uh, deck screws. And so they're resistant to wa water. Uh, and corrosion. Not that this box is going to see, hopefully, a ton of weather. Because uh, it will not be my basic uh, home for the bees. Alright. So there's your basic box right there. So this will take four frames nicely. Um, and then for the top... Want to give them a little basic tour of the frames? Uh, no, you don't need to. For the top, we just take some cleats again. But this is just an easy fix, so he doesn't really need to worry about too much. I had meant to do this video a couple of days ago and I'd forgotten some of my basic design parameters. He's getting old. Notice I did not pre-drill these, which is not good form. But I want to get this on the video. 
Ooh. Little crack. Wait, let me show you the crack. That's why you free drill. The top just goes on like this, and you're done. Um, and you can pick it up with these cleats here. So, um, what's the point of the screen? Um, well, the screen allows it to ventilate, and you can add a piece of Wait. wood. Look at those little pointy spots. Um, well, that's no big deal. And with the landing board, um, you've allowed yourself an opportunity to create a gate here, either with a piece of wood or a piece of metal, that you can swing up and down and close off that entrance. You can transport the entire hive um, fully enclosed, and it still gets ventilation because it's got the big ventilated bottom. So that's my uh, simple, cheap $6.32 worth of materials uh, and quick and easy build uh, new. And thank you for watching DC Honeybees TV. Come see us at dchoneybees.com.